Hi everybody, today I have the DOS Extreme Boom S and spoiler alert, it's awesome. We are going to start with something really nitpicky. DOS Extreme Boom S, plain as day. Where's the S? I want the S. I assume this is the right thing. I want to see the S on the back of this thing. One more thing I don't like. This is not a user manual. This is a pamphlet. And look at this font. Who can read that? Not me. But fortunately, if you go to the manufacturer's website, you can download a glorious PDF and use whatever device you want to make it as large as you need. And life is good. I'm serious. That might be the only thing I don't like about this product. All right, let's take a look at this. And first of all, I must apologize. The speaker grill is mangled. I think UPS dropped it out of the truck on the way over, maybe kicked it down a flight of stairs. I don't know. The box was crushed when I got it and it breaks my heart because this thing is beautiful and it's, I just want it to be perfect. But don't worry, when you get yours, it will be perfect, I, I think. First of all, I just want to appreciate this gorgeous orange handle. It doesn't have to be orange. It comes in black, blue, green, but whatever you get, you'll get a matching brand tag here. We have the quasi-standard Bluetooth speaker controls, power, bass boost, previous track slash volume down, play pause, next track slash volume up, mode, we'll talk a bit more about that later, and TWS mode, and we'll talk more about that later too. Behind this back panel, we have the TF card slot, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. This is not a U-drive slot, this is actually a power out slot, in case you want to use this as a power bank. And we have the USB-C charging port. The Extreme Boom S does have RGB lighting features in the passive radiators. You have three light modes, off, color cycling, and reactive to the music. You already know I love the color of the handle, but take a look at these finger ridges. They make it super easy and comfortable to grasp and carry. Also note these side mounted rings. These are for the included shoulder strap. A shoulder strap isn't necessarily something I would use, but it's always a nice option. I first became familiar with DOS when I tried one of their tabletop speakers and I loved it. I was so excited to try the DOS Extreme Boom S and it does not disappoint. Dual 30 range full watt drivers and dual passive radiators. This thing is loud, but it's not just loud, it is wonderful. It has that deep, punchy, boomy bass that you will feel. It has those crisp highs and lovely mids. I love this speaker. Yes, the speaker has a bass boost, but you won't hear the difference on every song. It is only enhancing the bass. If there is already bass, you'll hear more bass. You might hear too much bass. You might have to turn the bass boost off. But if it doesn't have any bass, this button is not going to make any difference at all. Can you force the Extreme Boom S into distortion? Well, sure. Most speakers can be made to distort after 75, 80% volume, and the Extreme Boom S is no exception. In fact, if you have the bass boost on and your song is super boomy and you have it maxed, you're going to hear some distortion. But you won't have to worry about that. 60 watts is a lot of power, and even at 80% volume, this is going to be loud. But if you aren't convinced, buy two of these speakers, put on TWS mode, true wireless stereo, you will double your power, you will have a left and right channel stereo configuration for a total of 120 watts, and you will be in bliss. Did I mention this has 25 hours of playback at 50% volume? Yeah, this thing has a 9,000 milliamp hour battery, and you can even use it as a power bank. I'm telling you, at less than five pounds, DOS makes some of the best sounding budget speakers around and they're super tough, despite some of the obvious shipping issues. There is a feature in the manual that I just couldn't get to work. They talk about using the Extreme Boom S as an external speaker for the Amazon Echo Dot. I tried following the instructions. They just weren't matching up with the menu options that I had. I gave up. Maybe you're more determined and you will have a wonderful experience, but eh.
The DOS Extreme Boom S is one of the best speakers you can buy for the money. This is an easy five out of five. Thanks for stopping by.